Hmm. You can definitely tell that I went swimming and my hair is not working too terribly well. The, the, the chlorine and all that stuff tends to... Usually after a heavy swim, I need to put some conditioner in my hair to get everything back to kind of normal, but it didn't work because we tend, tend on getting cuts today. Um, also, I think we may go out and around other places and get like a clock, like maybe media marked or something, but well, I hung it back up to see if it fails and it hasn't in two days, but still one of those things of like, hmm, maybe. <laughs> If we don't and we wind up moving, I'm just going to leave the clock here. Because <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a bad thing or not. Um, to like, I mean, it's, it's, it's good for anybody who wants to move into this apartment, then they have a wall clock. Yeah. But yeah. Anyways, so we've got at least that today we've got at least a haircut which involves probably sitting around for a long time at brainwash depending on stuff i mean it's not anywhere close to a holiday but it is still a weekend it is actually a day that only comes once every four years <laughs> while this video is being posted on march first it's actually february 29th right now People have been posting about like, oh, your Snapchat memories are only going to come back in four years. And I'm like, Snapchat has memories? Yeah, <laughs> yeah maybe I don't open Snapchat often enough. But yeah, <laughs> I mean, I understand that like Facebook memories may not be showing up much today. Like, to be fair, any of those things, and I'm not sure if there's like a duration on those, like, oh, in 365 days, but then again, that would also screw up every leap day, every leap year, because, you know, but then again, these companies don't think they're going to be around that long. Honestly, if they make a little bit of money for one year and then keep going, some of them are like, I don't know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like, I still, pe I still see people posting from time hop now wow yeah <laughs> i mean things tend to live forever on the internet but yeah it's just like the sheer amount of time that things have happened like i had someone posting oh, i just bought a computer for like the first time in three years and i was like how have you dealt without a computer for three years like i just bought a computer for the first time in three years that's a little different, but that's knowing who posted it. They were probably the first time they've ever had a computer in their house. Certain subset of the uh, football community back in the States, which is they live in a constant state of paranoia. And he was like, oh, which, which antivirus, anti-malware, anti... Um, anti-everything. Anti-everything. Like he, I think he even posted an, or anti... Brain stealing? What's the best software to get to protect against hackers, viruses, malware, and data breaches, and all that sort of thing? And no, I didn't get a MacBook. <laughs> it was like, one, MacBooks are still a thing. Um, and two, and then I realized, and I had to ask Aaron, I was like, when's the last time I actually, I don't. I have Windows Defender and Chrome. I Firefox. But yeah, and so it's just, I don't know. I should probably dry the socks with the sunlight. <laughs> Get my football gear off there. But anyways, so yeah, that's, that's that. <laughs> it's like, how do you protect against data breaches? You can't protect your computer against data breaches. Data breaches happen at companies. You yeah. cannot put anything on your computer to stop Yahoo from getting a data breach. That just doesn't happen. And if you're protecting against viruses, I mean, if you're spending for a third, com third party, third company to get your virus protection, sometimes, and this is a little, and I've seen a little bit weird on this one, that those companies sometimes put in viruses to detect to keep you spending money on them. 
that's a little paranoid, but as I haven't used antivirus software in well over a decade, I haven't used any anti-malware other than what comes with Windows, um, and I seem to be fine. My computer may also be a festering lot of death, but it's not. It's not. Oh yeah, so we'll probably see you guys after haircut and stuff. All right, I'm not sure if you guys can see. I basically got the sides trimmed up a little bit. Um, starting to reach over my ear and I was getting what I call anvil top. Because when I got the cut last time, the blend went only up to like here rather than like here. So like this stuff was starting to stick out. To be fair, I think of it, I call it an anvil because I know that a lot of people that watch the channel don't understand who Kultira is and his Death Knight sword. <laughs> you know Kultira, the blood elf with the sword that goes up and then like fans out to a little ax yeah. at the end? Yeah, that's what that looked like. So, because it wasn't a big old thunk out the side. It was these little like, I had like a flat top going on, but I was gonna, Aaron's like, where are you going? I'm like, well, to throw my cup away and to figure out if we're gonna go do something about that clock, head up me media marked or something or yeah. not immediately go to the bakery, go get our haircuts, which was faster than I thought. I mean, we left the house at like 1030 and my alarm for 11 o'clock went off. Whatever, <laughs> like my alarm for 11 o'clock went off to get the video done. And we've already gotten the video done, breakfast and haircuts. Yeah. So it's really early. And while yes, I can probably go back and do some things on the computer, Aaron and I can play some WoW, all that happy jazz. You want to be out in it right at A little bit, at least for like two hours until like one o'clock. Yeah. Yeah, and then maybe finish up the day with like a big lunch or something with some beer. I don't, I don't know, but that's that's the haircut. How'd you? I heard you talking about stuff with the haircut. Yeah, mine is basically just make it shorter. Yeah, you're like I've never gotten a bad haircut, and I thought to myself, yeah, it's not necessarily your low standards because you actually do have ridiculously high standards. It's the fact that you just don't have a very precise haircut to have anything really screw up. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I've never really seen a bad shaped cloud. What's a good shaped cloud? That's the thing. I mean, you have to have yeah. you have to have something that. So there is no good. <laughs> Wind. There is no good without bad. No light without dark, etc. Yay, Babylon Five. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she didn't put any product in my hair, so <laughs> I'm getting like flippy doos with the wind. I didn't want any product in my hair because I know that the product probably would have like tweaked it around and done some strange stuff with the, like I said, it's, my hair isn't healed from the pool. It's weird, but I actually, when I had long, long hair, I did a lot of study about how hair works and all that stuff. So that's why I kind of know that it's like my hair isn't healed and I probably need to tonight shower with some conditioner. But yeah, we're heading into Media Mark. If anything, we might get reminded that we need to get something for the thing of if we don't find a wall clock. I don't think I need anything from Decathlon while we're down here. Adam Lambert, the Velvet Tour, gross. Um, anyways, so we got a clock. Aaron actually can like this one's only like it's only 15 bucks too. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, is it's the only one that they sell. He's like, it's entirely possible that you got the one that was defective. And I'm like, that's that's true. Yeah, I, I mean, I can't imagine even an IKEA cheapo wall clock lasting a year. Or less. I mean, I, to be fair, when we moved in, we probably were like, we need to go get this. But I remember like we were going to IKEA and it was like, closing at like six or seven o'clock and it was already dark so it really wasn't the summer yeah. like i think we thoroughly determined but going to that ikea also i need to figure out when that was because <laughs> now that i think about it i had already gotten a ride back from practice by marcus and he swung by and show or he drove by and dropped off maxwell about and I saw that Burger King and stuff. That And that's when we also went down there to go eat at that Burger King and then show him the KFC. And then we walked over to Ikea from there. So that's, 
and then we wound up getting actually a couple things from there and yeah okay yeah that's when we got our pillows but I'm like I, when was that actual trip <laughs> and it's probably been more than a year because if we went in like say October or November sure okay it's definitely clocks. A, yeah a clocks simple yeah <laughs> yeah exactly well look at those droplets we uh so it was really nice when we left the ba when we left the bakery, and then we got this, and then we were on the train. Everything was really nice. Got a little gray when we were down at Bilemer. But now it's all pretty nice. And now it's like, oh, so that's what Google was saying. Yeah. Expect rain in Amsterdam on Saturday. Yeah.